Hello everyone, to the Path of Apescape 2, the Kakeri run. This time we're doing Port Calm. We have 5 monkeys to capture, but we have 8 in total, really. So, let's go ahead and start this, shall we? So, here is Port Calm. It's very calming, as you can tell. And it's very nice, too. And we're going to be going off and grabbing some monkeys. Because that's what we're best at. So, right off the bat, you know, this entire area already has all five monkeys you will mostly be going for immediately. Like this one right here. There's one on the boat, there's one under the bridge. There's one uh, just having a bit of a sit down by the tables, and there's one just walking about. They're all around this area, and they're all easy to get in a single line. Again, the time trial here is very easy, really. Again, the gold here isn't hard at all. Though I try to, like, outdo myself so much, trying to, like, be perfect at it about the fucking, uh, you know, the boxing glove and such. Of course, it's not the most easiest thing in the world, like, uh, catching this fucker right here when he's being an annoying prick and, you know, trying to be all fancy doesn't fucking work. We have Scenie Boy. Some of the names, you know, they're not that reference here. I don't see what the reference is for a lot of these names this level, so I can't really tell. But I'm sure when we look at the monkeys way later on, at the end of the Let's Play, we'll figure it out. And I have Danny Boy. So, that is it for the first half of this. Now we have to go and do the second half. Mm-hmm. Now it's time to go ahead and do the second half of Port Calm, in which we only have like three monkeys. Also, you saw I activated the gate when I uh, hit that one monkey and I hit the lever, in, like in the middle of that. Yeah, that gate's closed again. Yeah, you have to hit it again. Good news is, there is no cutting with it, so you don't have to watch that shit again. Uh, bad news, you actually have to hit this again. Sucks for Flicky to do. Now, let's go ahead and grab this monkey, which you can easily do by simply just jumping up real high, doing double jump, and then grabbing him. There you go. That's Bidet. Again, I don't know what the fucking references are on this one. What's like Bidet? If someone can tell me what some of these references are, let me know, okay? I would love to know. But, uh, yeah, that was Bidet. And now it's time for the two that are in here. One's hiding around that needs the punching glove, and the other one is just this guy. Like, Lilo. I don't think it's that Lilo, Lilo Stitch, but who knows. And lastly, Manuel. I'm sure it's reference to that, that name, Manuel. I don't know, it's like a normal name to me. But we're done at Port Calm. Yes, it was perfect. And, well, we're done at Port Calm, so that's all the monkeys done of that one. I mean, it wasn't that long, but then again, you can watch the Let's Play and you will already know where the fuck all the monkeys are. This is mainly just to show off the Kakeri run bit, you know, showing off the whole point of uh, playing as Kakeri here when you beat the game the first time. And also showing off all the mini games and completely being them all. Which, guess what? We're doing Dance Monkey Dance next, so next time we're doing Viva Ape Spania, but for now, we'll be doing the second song of Dance Monkey Dance. Enjoy. And here we are at Dance Monkey Dance. So I said we're doing the second song, and we definitely are. We've unlocked it last time, and uh, the second song was uh, Monkey Some Got Gotcha Rhythm. Gotcha Rhythm. I thought it had something to do with Monkey. No, it's Gotcha Rhythm. So, Gotcha Rhythm. This is where you're gonna have to learn something that the game will never explain to you, and you're gonna have to try to figure out yourself. I mean, it's not hard, but it's kind of confusing. It's this thing. I I thought you had to guess which uh, fucking direction this monkey's gonna go. No. Uh, if it's blank, that means you don't do anything there. I did not know that, and I never knew that until pretty much at song three. I didn't fail this. You would think I failed this, like, hugely, because, you know, I'm doing pretty poorly, and of course the fucking one-offs I don't know about, I don't understand them yet, so I'm like, I'm pretty much fucked there in a way. And of course, you know, 
the stick movement's weird. But surprisingly, I actually passed. Which, so far, um, as of these recordings, I have passed every single one on my first go. I've only failed once. That was the first thing where I already beat the fucking song, so that was sad. But yeah, I wanted to show it the fail anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I passed this one. Somehow. I thought I fucked up and failed here. But, uh, no. Because I got this. That was just enough to actually grant a pass. Monkeys aren't very proud, but... I passed, so who cares? Yeah, 38. I don't even know how I got a 38. Like, it has... I don't know what the starting score is. I really don't. I'm sure there's a point in which you keep fucking up the monkeys get really angry and pissed off. But I don't know. I don't, I don't really know because I never actually did that bad at this game. At this mini game at least. Because I would usually get nice moves. Because I don't suck rhythm games. It's just that... Trying to do the whole stick thing is awkward. Because I'm trying to do it correctly, and it's like... Yeah, that happens. It acts weird sometimes. It'll just go all over the fucking place. I don't know why. See? So yeah, this minigame, you know, I've always said my piece of this one, but I wanted to show off. I want to let you guys know that, yeah, there's a bit here that the Toro will never tell you, and that is one moves where you don't press anything on a circle part which is like if it's on the left side you don't even touch the left stick you just touch the right but yeah I passed this one too and then I thought I did pretty bad because again the controls usually fuck me oh and this shit was pretty bad too yeah Fuck you, game. I was clapping correctly, and you're just being a cunt. There we go. See, I'm doing my best at this, even though the uh, the controls are acting really weird in this mini game for me. Like I'm actually doing it correctly. Like when I do like an angle, I have the controller right here with me right now. When I actually like do it normally, like that. It doesn't do it normally. It like fucks up and instead of going up right and uh, up left with the sticks, it's going right stick up right and for some fucking weird reason, either left or up and then like a second later, like the right one. I don't get it. It registers the moves weirdly, incorrectly. And of course, timing's a bitch because there's no indicator on when to time it. You're just supposed to know the right spot. And just go with that. I don't know, though. I don't know what the fu I'm sure there's like a glitch in the emulation of this fucking version. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying this is perfect. You saw there was fucking graphic glitches in the goddamn uh, Mission Complete screen where when you fucking click out, the pitch is still there when it shouldn't be. But yeah, I don't know if there's actually a glitch in this minigame or not, where there should be an indicator at the bottom, but there isn't. I need some confirmation if that's true, or if there literally is no indication, you're just supposed to know the right timing, which is bullshit. Because I don't know any rhythm games, but you're actually supposed to just figure out the timing of no indicator at all. Not unless you're doing, like, fucking uh, step mania without any indicator at all because you set it up like that or whatever. Like, fuck off. Anyway, now i figured out that, yes, this is one where you're not supposed to even press the, uh, where the blank is. You're actually supposed to lift that alone and go with the arrow that's actually being shown. And to be honest, it makes this easy. You would think that, you know, Having only one-offs would distract you and make you fuck up. But the only reason I was fucking up because I didn't understand it. 
now I do understand. This shit's easy. And I'm telling you right now, I perfected it. I got a 50 on this fucking song. Because now that I figured out that it's all one-offs here now, it's... It's not hard. Because the one-offs are the easiest ones to pull off because you don't have to worry about both sticks and one of them malfunctioning or the other whatever. You only have to worry about one fucking stick and leave the other one alone. And you concentrate a lot more on that when you see it on the screen. You see the fucking little dotted circle on one side and the arrow on the other. And you go for that arrow. It's so much easier to focus on that. And I always get a nice move at best with that. Because it's so easy. So really, this isn't hard. And that isn't good. That's not good when I think the first song is harder than this one because of a feature that you add into the song. That is only, like, appearing after the first song because you decided... Eh, why not? We'll add something else to this. And you never gave me a fucking tutorial or gave me any indication this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to figure it out myself, and I'm just confused as all fuck because the tutorial doesn't even let me know you're supposed to do this. Or it's even possible. But it's even a thing. But yeah, now it's starting to do this thing where it's really cooping them together, which you have to do them all in like a combo and such, in this sort of way. And when you do this shit here, yeah, it's confusing as all fuck, because you can easily mistake left left and right right as left right or right left. Like, seriously, you can easily mistake them for that and vice versa, and you can get fucked because of it. So it's confusing. And you have this shit right here. Like... A lot of it's not hard. The one ups are easy. It's the doubles that are weird because they can easily confuse you that way by having them cooped together and then like having them like be repeats of the same shit and then just have it all different and all that in the middle of it. It fucks ya. But yeah, I got 50. I got perfect tens. I'm not joking. It happened. Look. Done. Again, you can fuck up, and you'll still win. You don't have to be perfect at this song, you just have to be good enough. And I will think you did it perfectly. And there we go, that's it for the second song. So, that'll be it for this part. So, next time we're doing Weaver Apespania, and we're also doing the third and final song, which is Monkey Chorus. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys next time for River Ape, Ape Spania and for Monkey Chorus, the final song of Dance Monkey Dance. See you then, and don't forget to save.